Hello, I'm here to talk about COVID-19, the problem of testing, the problem of healthcare, and what is the role of the private sector in all this. So let's start at testing. Uh, India has the lowest testing rate in the whole world. If you count the number of people tested divided by the population, we're basically at the bottom of the world. Why is testing important? Why do we need a lot more testing? The most important reason has to do with the economics. If you know where are the infected people and you know where are the high risk people, the elderly, the people with the pre-existing conditions, then private people and the government will be able to find ways to keep the two apart. So you will isolate the at-risk people and we will isolate the sick people and for everybody else, life will go on. If we don't know where the infected people are, then we will have no choice other than doing more extreme, more blanket bans, and that is much more harmful for the economy. So the more we know about the state of infection in the country, who are the people who are positive? Where are the outbreaks? How do we find every single person in the country who is infected with COVID-19, the more we will be able to do judicious isolation rather than blanket isolation. So this is the problem of testing. How do we scale up testing? My opinion is that we need roughly two to three lakh tests to happen every day. Okay, And we are not there. We are not remotely there. So this is the question one, that we need a lot of testing. We need to go up to numbers like two to three lakh tests a day and how do you go about doing it the second problem is about healthcare okay so we do not yet know how covid-19 will play out in the indian population okay. we may hope that actually a big epidemic does not arise but suppose an epidemic does come suppose millions of people actually require hospitalization what are we going to do where is that healthcare capacity okay we need to plan how to surge that healthcare capacity, how to get twice, thrice, 10 times the capacity in intensive care units as compared to where we are today. So these are the two big questions around COVID-19. How do we increase the testing? How do we create the possibility of increasing the amounts of healthcare that will be available? Now, how do you go about doing these things? It is important to recognize the role of the Indian private sector in all this. Who does testing in India? Really, it's the private sector. Think about the last time you or I had to do a test. It was done by some private lab. It was not done by a government lab. The private sector is the dominant force in testing. There is nothing complicated in COVID-19. The testing is a standard procedure. There will be some shortages of reagents. They have to be imported. Various people will struggle on how to import the reagents. But for the rest, really, there is nothing difficult about doing COVID-19 testing. So it is a vast capacity of private labs in the country who can do this testing. So if we want to increase the testing capacity in the country, really, the place to do it is private labs. Similarly, let's think about the healthcare. The vast fraction of healthcare in the country today is by private clinics, private hospitals. There are four bed hospitals, there are 40 bed hospitals. There are private facilities all over the country who account for the bulk of the hospital capacity of the country. And very often the private sector has better management, better motivation. So if you had to ask somebody that on an open park, I want to set up an emergency hospital in a hurry. Who has the management capability of doing that? It's probably a private person who will do that better. Private hospitals are better off at being able to build a brand new hospital in a hurry in a park. So my first claim is that we need a lot more testing today. We may need a lot more healthcare tomorrow. And the place to find these capabilities in India is in the private sector. Now, I'm not here to say that the Indian
private sector is doing a great job either in the testing or in the healthcare. There are many, many problems about what is happening. The Indian private healthcare industry has bad practices, is not fair with consumers. There are many quacks and incompetents in uh, the various healthcare facilities. So it's not a great landscape. I'm not excited about the quality and the capabilities. There is mis-selling, there is asymmetric information, there is misbehavior by various private persons. We should recognize those difficulties. Those difficulties are there. But the thing is, if you want that capacity, really, it's only in the private sector. The private sector has the heft all around the country to be able to do two to three lakh tests per day now and in the future if there is a great surge in the healthcare requirement to accommodate patients in existing facilities and potentially to put up new facilities quickly. So in health policy this is what we should be thinking. We should be thinking how can a government contract with private people to get the work done. There is a role for public funding. So for example the arrangement should be that a private company produces the test and the government reimburses the payment that is required. Similarly, we need to think about ways in which the government will fund healthcare done by private people. There is a role for public funding, but we should be thinking that the production should be done in the private sector because that is where the capacity is. What will be the problem when we try to do this? The barrier is in government. In India, the government finds it very difficult to do basics. So there are four basic processes inside government. Human resources, finance, contracting, payments, all these things, they work pretty badly in the Indian state. So let's take an example of a government that is going to do contracts with private healthcare companies for testing or for healthcare. There will need to be a procurement, there will need to be contract management, there will need to be disputes which will have to be handled, there will be surprises along the way, things will happen that were not thought of at the time of the procurement and finally payments will be have, have to be made on time. In all these things at present, the Indian state does poorly. The Indian state does not know how to do the procurement, the Indian state does not know how to handle disputes. The Indian state does not have hand, know how to handle unforeseen circumstances and contract negotiations and the Indian state does not pay people on time. In the Indian state, whether it is a official or it is a private person, you are always terrified about some agencies, some SFIO, CBI, income tax, somebody will come after you if you have done these kinds of contracts. So this is the problem that we face. For COVID-19, we need to surge the testing. We need to potentially surge the healthcare. The place to get it done is the private sector. But we have an Indian state that does not know how to do these contracts. That's the battle that we need to solve now. Thank you.